Vince Colosimo is no stranger to life in the spotlight. On our screens and in the courtroom, where his darkest moments played out for all to see. Now the actors fighting for redemption with a surprising new role off screen. Sometimes it can be, you know, really fatal. Um, it's the reason I want to do it, the reason I want to be a part of it. I would like to take this opportunity to declare my total and absolute innocence in the matter. Now, I dealt with it, but, you know, it could have, it could have, it could have wiped me out. Prosecutors revealing the star owes tens of thousands in unpaid fines. So I have this preconception of, of, of who you are and what, what you should be, and I think that might happen as well in different uh, working situations as well, but it happened a lot to me. Vince Colosimo setting the record straight. I feel like you're always having to um, justify what you do and who you are and what girlfriend you have and what boy, you know what I mean? Where you're hanging out and so forth. And, and that, the pressure of that becomes um, a lot sometimes, a lot to bear with. This is no acting gig, but perhaps a redemption role for Vince Colosimo. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a warm welcome to a true champion for change. Please give it up for Mr Vince Colosimo. here at this time of the morning. <laughs> Come on. Is things that bad? <laughs> Thank you for coming. I think um, it's a great effort, actually. A current affair was in the room for his first public appearance in a long time, telling his story at Bully Zero's corporate breakfast as the charity marked its 10-year anniversary. And I'll do whatever I can, you know, just to make sure that what happened to me doesn't happen to another person. The road to becoming an anti-bullying ambassador hasn't been an easy one. Vince endured a hounding at the hands of his own mistakes, but there's still plenty of love for the Aussie actor. And when I reflected back on, on my, my own life, you know, there was a lot of bullying going on. And, and I, I, I was bullied. I mean, you could just imagine this young kid, this kid uh, from North Carolina who goes, makes a film, pin-up boy back in the early 80s, and, uh, and then you know, that finishes and I have to go back to school. While others enjoyed socialising over their morning coffee, Vince's head was down, appearing to take his new role seriously, scribbling down notes before hitting the stage. By virtue of living a life many only dream about, he reveals the spotlight and scrutiny that came with it and the words which, over time, did a lot of damage. I oh, find it a bit tough now, I haven't seen you around for a while, you know? It's, it, 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 things a bit tough? Well, no, I'm actually been in the theatre for a year. Have you seen any of that? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Well, you didn't know that, so, you know, before I comment. I feel like you're always having to um, justify what you do and who you are and, uh, you know, what girlfriend you have, what boy, you know what I mean? Where you're hanging out and so forth. And, and that, the pressure of that becomes um, a lot sometimes, a lot to bear with. Actor Vince Colosimo has been spared jail, despite admitting to driving while on drugs. That pressure may very well have played a part in what would become the star's darkest days. The sorry saga began late last year when Colosimo admitted in court to drug driving for the second time. In July this year, Vince attracted far more attention than the average driver would for unpaid fines. But there were 169 of them, amounting to $61,858 in debt. Unpaid tolls, speeding tickets, other driving offences and fines for failing to vote in council elections. He was ordered to do 101 hours of community work over 12 months. In 2021, the unlicensed actor was pulled over by police before telling them his name was Tony and returning a positive drug test for ICE, a drug he'd abused for more than a decade. Giving people a second chance should be something that's innate. Janet Grimmer is CEO of Bully Zero. She's stood by Vince since he started volunteering with her organisation ahead of his court sentence. We should celebrate people's successes, but more so, we should be there to lift people up when they've taken a fall or when, they, or when there are struggles. Were you worried about Vince's past tarnishing the work that you're doing? A great question, and I think it's something that we obviously consider, but ultimately the motivation for us working with anybody is about their willingness to be vulnerable and to talk about their experience. He reflected on a career from Chopper. There's no cash here. 
Here, there's no cash, all right? Cash, no. Robbo? No cash. To his big break in Body of Lies. I was flying to Morocco first class in Emirates for two days just to do a wardrobe check. And working with Leonardo DiCaprio. Hang on a second, he said to me. He said, you're that, um, you're that, uh, no money, no money guy. No money, no money here. <laughs> I said, first of all, it's no, no money, mate. It's no cash. <laughs> but Vince quickly ditched the screen star persona and described suffering at the hands of tall poppy syndrome from a young age. So <clears throat> I would get a lot of a lot of at school. Yeah. You'd get chill on the bus, and when I went out, I got a lot of, you know, you know, who do you think you are? And you know, you didn't have to do anything. It was just <clears throat> You were there, the centre of attention, I don't know where you were, you were the centre of attention, <clears throat> but sometimes for the wrong reasons. And the put-downs from complete strangers, he reveals, only got worse. So many people have come up to me and after sitting with me and talking to me for a little while, one of the, one of the lines I always get is, you actually all right. Do they show you? have this preconception of, of who you are and what, what you should be? And I think that might happen in, you know, in, in, in different um, scenarios as well, in different uh, working uh, situations as well but, but it happened a lot to me and I, I dealt with it but you know it could have it could have it could have wiped me out it could have like stopped me doing what I, what I was doing I had to I had to fight this thing in, in my own my own particular way the fact that there we could not you, you could hear a pin drop in that room said a lot about the support that people truly do have um, for the likes of Vince who use their voice Vince, we're told, is now busy here in Melbourne teaching acting classes to drama students. And he's also working on a documentary with Bully Zero, which the organisation hopes to release in the next few months. We work incredibly hard to go out to communities and teach them about kindness, to teach them about resilience. And as Vince moves on to a new chapter, the ambassador handed out his own advice. I think I think it's you, the people you surround yourself with, you know, it's the people you surround yourself with. And I had some I had some really great mates and my brother and and uh, who kept, you know, two feet on on the ground.